go to the Australian New Zealand trial registry where there, I found there were six trials listed. I mean, and most of the <coughs> trials are in the area of orthopedics, and most of them are supported by the Melbourne company, Mesoblast. Um, most of the trials have been in phase two, phase one or two. Uh, there's one phase three trial, third one down, in my card in March, which had a positive outcome. Um, that was a trial conducted by the company of Cyrus. There are a number of orthopedic applications, often with scaffolding uh, to support the, the cells, failure to unite, spinal fusion, cartilage repair, tendon repair. I mentioned graft as a post disease, a molecular cord transplant to prevent graft rejection. Um, those, there's a European study published recently which showed that it, it, it was given to be proved grafting of the umbilical cord <coughs> stem cells, but it didn't in, in fact show a significant difference of the graft versus host disease with this. Uh, in transplants where the match is not good, I'll mention a bit more detail in phase two trial in Crohn's disease. Uh, the trial in the US of the phase three study of Crohn's, again on by Osiris, and there are a number of other, uh, sorry, we've got a trial in obliterative bronchiolitis between ourselves and Prince Charles in Brisbane uh, after lung transplant, and with, there are some trials in renal and other solid organ transplants, particularly in China. I won't get through this slide, but just to say that if you look at the list at the top, graph that has had these Crohn's, multiple sclerosis, lupus, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, kitchen, renal diabetes, type 1, renal transplant, bottom, cardiac, liver, meniscectomy, bone fracture. So you can see there's quite a spectrum of trials. Um, should you use someone else's or your own? Now, <coughs> in the situation, um, where the illness is acute, you haven't got six to eight weeks to, to grow the cells in the culture. And there, but there are some diseases where your own cells are not good. Obviously, in the hand with logic cancers, you're worried about transmitting uh, leukemia, etc. cetera. Um, someone has shown that cells in SLE are abnormal, MSCs, and also in multiple myeloma. And as you get older, the number of MSC in your bone marrow decreases. So an older donor will not give you the yield of a younger person. We generally pick younger people to try and use for um, marrow donations. This uh, Crohn's disease study is, has taken off. It's been started in uh, six centres across Australia two in Perth, two in Adelaide, one in Melbourne, one in Sydney, and we need to do a number of laboratory studies. The cells are all going to be produced in Perth, and we've been able to start because we've had funding from RISC to actually produce the cells. So without this, we'd be really the belly of death. Dr. Stewart. The important question in this study is, why do they, if these cells work, why do they work? So what we're aiming to do, mostly between ourselves and uh, Adrian Cummins' group at Queen Elizabeth and Adelaide is to look at the mucosal biopsies for the cytokine and hemokine profile using PCR array, pre-therapy, and on re-evaluation in six weeks, as well as the uh, analysis of mucosal biopsies and blood by flow cytometry to, to analyze the same sort of um, Of course, we've got to get funding in the back. So we, <coughs> we alert again to that. Everyone in this room is probably a professional beggar. Um, <laughs> and just quickly to mention, in the study of renal failure and possible transplant, the first way we're studying this is, is to ask the question, are the mesenchymal stem cells in the patient with end stage renal failure normal? Can we use their own cells? Or must we use the, the related donor who's donating the kidney? Uh, that trial I mentioned in the interest of time, I'll flip through that. This is just a couple of little vignettes of other, this is a scaffold that our Department of Medical Engineering were working on for bone uh, work, and in the middle you can see the uh, mesenchymal stem cells growing. 
<coughs> here it also is a vignette from a Japanese publication using a synthetic collagen uh, membrane under which the mesenchymal cells were uh, planted, showing a very effective healing of long term failure to heal ulcers. And finally, a picture of bovine pericardium that's been treated uh, to render it acellular and inert. And those little blue lines are the mesenchymal stainless <coughs> cells growing in it. This was done in collaboration in our lab uh, with a scientist called Leon Neefert. Yeah, sure. Finally, there are now trials in breast regeneration, one starting in Melbourne after a mastectomy for cancer. And just to acknowledge the people speaking this again and the our lab staff there. Thank you very much. Uh, we're just running a bit late. We've got time for one question from Bernie. Uh, what a wonderful talk and I want to congratulate you on presenting a global view on the use of mesenchymal stem cells. I'd just like to add a little, couple of notes of caution if I could, um, basically because we also went down this particular pathway and we've seen some things which I guess um, quite, don't quite support the glorious view of the use of mesenchymal stem cells. Um, one is that they're not multi-potent not cells, they're multi-potent cells. Absolutely agree with it. And if you listen to that, I'm not sure that I would support that, but it calls the glorified fibroblasts. <laughs> His terminology, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a very interesting paper called um, mesenchymal stem cells, the, the fibroblast new code or something like that. Yes. So the, the caution part that we actually went down, we were looking at the use of diabetes, and of course diabetes is endoderm, not mesoderm, and we took uh, the mesenchymal stem cells that carry uh, karyatids and provide for us in Queensland, characterized, <coughs> put them into microcapsules and put them into mice. I got complete, I've been using it as an anti-inflammatory uh, aspect to try and prevent rejection of our cells. But just as a control, they also got rejected. So in a xeno situation, these are human mouse, galaxy mice, we basically show no benefit whatsoever. And 